Hey everyone, it's Abby here from Salesforce Shorts and I'll be taking you through Toast Notifications in Salesforce. So we're going to create a Lightning Web component for Toast Notifications. So let's start by creating our Lightning Web component. I'm going to call it My Toast. Okay. And I'm going to create some code over here and take you through it. So we have this first part that's important, our import. So we need to import show toast event from our lightning uh, platform show toast event. So this enables us to use this show toast. That is the method we'll be using for this. So we have three parameters over here. We have a title, message, and a variant. And this is all uh, bound to our notification that pops up. So over here, I'm just going to jump to the end where we have success, that's our title, and we have our message. So both of these can be anything that you want it to be. But our variant is just certain ones that we can um, fill in here for our variant. So we have success, we have error, and we have warning. So those are just a different type of notification. So we'll be starting with success, and we'll, we can change it to error on a later point. So we then have here our a constant event that is a new show toast event. And this is just a dynamic piece of code that we can reuse. So it takes in at the title, the message, and the variant, and then it just dispatches that event. So this enables for us to create our own methods like the show success. We, we call this toast event, and then we pass our three parameters in there. And with this, we can easily create the show error uh, message. So like the show error. Then we can just have this dot show toast show first. And we can have error information more. And we can have this is not good. Uh, and then we have error as our variants. Okay. And now the JavaScript is done. So now we need some HTML. So we need a button to actually call our events. text so let's get the html and then i'm going to paste some code over here so this is just with some styling so that's what you will see in the class there and then we have on click then we call our show success method and then this is just the text that will be displaying on the button so let's go ahead and save that and also let's get to the minute files make it exposed targets so it targets I'm going to target as lightning app page okay save it and let's deploy this okay for many successful let's go and add our component to our page It's going to search for tourist. I'm going to tourist. Okay. We can save this and we can see our button is over there. Okay, we go back. Let me click success. So this is how our success message, message is looking. And we can see that we have our title and our message.